Hello you folks, this is Jamie Monoxide with another update. Here recently um, I got some more um, Blu-rays of course and um, so here they are. Um, first one I got is a uh, Stephen Kane's uh, Sharks of the Corn and um, this one is from a uh, SRS Cinema, and um, um, it's uh, directed by uh, uh, Tim Ritter, and uh, originally I think it was either 200 or 250, some somewhere along there, um, pressed somewhere around there, and um, so yeah, once they were gone, they were gone. But, um, there was so high demand for it, um, they printed another limited run of, uh, a hundred. So, yeah, uh, that's, uh, uh, um, yeah. And, uh, the story is it takes place in Kentucky. And, um, bonus features are, um... 90 minute making of documentary music video uh, trailer SRS trailers and more and um, and with the original run uh, hold on with a poster but uh, when uh, they put the new batch up I uh, messaged the uh, main guy at uh, SRS and uh, he said that uh, he had a few posters left so um, I was in luck because I was one of the first ones that ordered it. Um, and so yeah, I got one of the posters. And I also got a um, double-sided card for a, a car, of course, Stephen King's Sharks of the Corn and Virus Shark. And uh, of course, it's from SRS Cinema as well. And then, uh, the next batch of movies, well, all these movies that I'm fixing to show you, is from uh, Best Buy. Uh, the first one is um, from the Criterion Collection, is uh, Lone Wolf and Cub. It's all six movies. On a three disc, and a new, new 2K digital restorations of all six films with uncompressed monaural soundtracks, high definition presentation of Shogun Assassin, a 1980 English dubbed re edit of the first two Lone Wolf and Cub films new interview with Kazuo Koiki writer of the Lone Wolf and Cub manga series and screenwriter on five of the films uh, uh yeah well, uh, Lame Don Pere Lam Don Saber, uh, yeah, Saber, a 2005 documentary about the making of the um, series, new, new interview on which Sensei Yoshimitsu 
Katsuse discusses and demonstrates the real Suyo Ryu sword techniques that inspired the ones depicted in the manga and films. New interview with biographer Kazuma Nozawa about Kenji Masumi, director of four of the six films. Silent documentary from 1937 about the making of samurai swords with an optional new ambient score by Ryan Francis. Trailers, new English subtitle translations, plus a booklet featuring an essay and film synopsis by Japanese pop culture critic Masias. Then I got the Sister Street Fighter collection. Uh, I got yeah. Uh, high definition Blu-ray 1080p presentations of all four films original uncompressed Japanese mono audio original English dubbed audio for Sister Street Fighter new optional English sub subtitle translation for all four tr films English SDH subtitles for the English dub of Sister Street Fighter original English language R-rated version of Sister Street Fighter new video interviews with actor Shinichi Sunny Chiba director Kuzihiko Yamaguchi and screenwriter Masahiro Kaki Fuda isolated score highlights for the first three films original Japanese theatrical trailers for all four films original US theatrical trailer for Sister Street Fighter original German theatrical trailer for Sister Street Fighter Plus original German opening titles for the film. Stills and poster gallery. Reversible sleeve featuring newly commissioned artwork including key art by R.P. Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. Man on guy. The Stray Cat Rock Collection, Delinquent Girl Boss, Wild Jumbo, Sex Hunter, Machine Animal, and Beat 71. Special Edition Contents, High Definition Blu ray, 1080p presentations of all five films in the Stray Cat Rock series, original uncompressed PCM mono audio, optional English subtitles, interview with Yasuhara Hasibi, director of Delinquent Girl Boss, Sex Hunter and Machine Animal, interview with actor Tatsuya Fuji, Star of all five films, interview with actor Yoshio Harada, star of Beat 71, original trailers, reversible sleeve featuring two alternate choices, or two artwork choices. 
Then I got PG Psycho Gorman. Special features, over two hours of special features, including director commentary, interviews with the cast and crew, fight choreography, the music of PG, behind the scenes featurettes, concept art gallery, PG Psycho Gorman trading cards gallery, behind the scenes photo gallery, and more. Then I got Coming to America Special features are Prince of Pool Photography The Coming Together of America Fit for Hakeem The Costumes of Coming to America Character building, the uh, many faces of Rick Baker composing America, the musical talents of Niall Rogers, a vintage sit down with Eddie and Arsenio, and photo gallery. And then I got the complete first season of Stargirl. And yeah. And of course it comes with a digital copy. And I got the complete second season of Titans. Special feature is Jason Todd, Fate by the Fans. Explore this character's DC Universe history as it as it's been determined by the fans who have shaped his destiny. And that's pretty much it for this, other than the digital code. And finally, um, Batwoman, the complete first season. And includes limited edition bonus disc, all five DC crossover episodes plus bonus content. And, um, that's one of the reasons I got this episode, is, uh, the bonus disc, because, uh, it's the, um, the Crisis on Infinite Earths, um, um, episodes on one disc, because, um, because if you have to watch it, uh, part by part, you have to go to different um, like if you it's hard to explain like most of them are on Voodoo not Voodoo, but um, Netflix except for Batgirl yeah, or not Batgirl but Batwoman and you have to go all the way to HBO Max to watch episode 2 of, of the Crisis on Infinite Earths which is on HBO Max and so the best way to get the entire crossover is to um, get like um, the last season of Arrow or um, season 5 I believe of Supergirl season two or three of um, of uh, uh, I can't think of the show right now, but um, 
been like uh, but yeah there's uh, but yeah Legends of Tomorrow and yeah um, season 2 or 3 of Black Lightning but yeah it's like all mixed over but um, yeah but this one is the reason I got it and uh, the special features are uh, the best of DC TV's Comic Con panels, San Diego 2019, and deleted scenes. So, uh, yeah, um, this is all that I have gotten so far. And uh, anyway, this is Jamie Monoxide signing out.